It's day one of a two-day inspection tour of ongoing federal government projects in Lagos State by the Minister of Works, David Umai, alongside members of the Senate and House Committee on Works. This is where we are all the First port of call is the Coastal Road Project Terminal, close to Amadu Belo Way, Victoria Island. The minister says the coastal project procured by Hitech Construction Company at 1.06 trillion naira is being done in phases, with the first being 10 lanes of 47.7 kilometers. I was submitting everything about this project to Mr. President, and uh, he will be relating with the National Assembly in terms of funding. But the good thing about this is that um, this uh, project has a you know, self-cleansing mechanism in terms of return on investment. Yes. The team appears satisfied with what's on the ground and pledges support. We've seen it over and over again in this country, where you have great intentions when you want to begin a project, but along the line you run into some sort of trouble. But this is a project everyone is committed, both the executive and legislature, and it must be delivered. The next major stop is the Third Mainland Bridge, which has been shut down partially for about two months already. Two inches asphalt. Eight the minister explains that the 11.8 kilometer draw carriageway, initially awarded at 21 billion naira, of which 30 percent had been paid, has incurred additional cost for solar lighting and CCTV cameras. He concludes with what every road user would want to hear. The next, the next, the next minister is the marking is over. And the next uh, yeah, we open it, but formally will be. Um, commissioned by Mr. President when he's going to flag off the coastal route. Day two takes the team on water to see the beams of the Third Mainland Bridge, which are also being worked on. Other project sites visited include the Lagoon Bridge, Apapa Oshudi Expressway, and the Long Bridge on the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. During the courtesy call on the governor, the team expressed appreciation over the work being done in the state, as well as applauded the appointment of David Umai. It was really foresight to have appointed somebody that knows how he can turn shovel into turning cement into reality, because it's actually a square peg in a square hole. Governor Sonwolu, while responding, says the state will continue to partner the federal government to ensure all federal projects get the required assistance. These are assets that belong to all of us, to the Nigerian people, and your responsibility is to ensure that funding is made available to keep you know, all of this infrastructure in proper shape and form. For us as a government, we see ourselves as partners partners with the National Assembly, partners with the federal government, because indeed, what we see at the end of the day is that our people get service. While the quality of work being put into the projects will be tested by time and frequency of usage, the issue of speed regulation on the rehabilitated Third Mainland Bridge must be considered to avoid recklessness by some road users. Chris Elems. Channels Television News.